All right, have in my hands here an absolute black super compact chain rings from absoluteblack.cc specifically. Uh, I got these um, for a good deal off of the UK website tweakscycles.cc. Super hard cardboard container. And there it is. And it arrived to my house in Hawaii in two days. I did the $20 UPS Express shipping. Ordered it on the 31st. Today is November 2nd. Here's the packaging. So, absolute black gravel subcompact oval 110 slash 4 2 by chain ring and absolute black gravel subcompact oval 110 slash 4 2 by chain ring. There we go. Let's open it up. See what it looks like. The 32th, 32th, 27 grams and the 46 tooth, 99 grams. Yeah. If you want to actually see the gram weight and someone weighing it, check out the Gravel Cyclist on YouTube. He's the first person I saw show these specific chain rings and weigh them actually on his channel. So, here it is. Let's open up the 30 tooth and see what it looks like. Very nice container as well. The 30 tooth does come with um, chain ring bolts. Two titanium bolts and two aluminum bolts. So here is the first one right there. Let me show you what the bolts look like bolts are black right there and the chain ring is oval 30 tooth ovalized chain ring so on the biggest portions it looks 34 or it feels 34 and then on the smaller portions when you're on the weakest part of your pedal stroke feels like a 30. Um, for an in-depth um, discussion about these chain rings, check out um, the, the regular, regular guy mountain bike channel. I think it's called RGMB on YouTube. He interviews um, one of the absolute black reps about this thing so these two are bigger these two are smaller and there's notches in them so they only go in one way and they interlock with the big chain ring So I'm using these specifically for Everesting. So that's the first chain ring there. And let me show you the second one. Okay. So this is the pairing of it. 
this is the 46 tooth. So I got them both in black. But they do come in gray and silver as well. And they're really light. Check out what they look like. They look amazing. Super amazing. They get the machining on the back of that. That's the back portion with all the shift ramps. They made these shift ramps so the chain can move easier without a total dependence on shift pins which kind of force the chain up abruptly. These glide the chain up just right and if you notice at, at the end of each shift ramp there's a shortened tooth so that the chain can go on there much easier. I just noticed that. So this one hooks the chain on. That one is where the chain probably latches on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machining. These are, I believe these are made in Poland. Absolute black chain rings for Shimano 6800 as well as Shimano 8000 Ultegra that's the bikes that I'll be putting putting these on check that out wow check out that machining guys look at that So this is a 46 tooth, so I'm not sure what the widest point correlates to, maybe a 50, and the ends correlate to a 46. So these are supposed to decrease fatigue in climbing and make your pedal stroke more even on gravel or on um, or a little bit slippier terrain that you have less traction on supposed to even up your pedal stroke so any evening eveningness I could get uh, as far as on an Everesting then I totally am down for and so with a 30 in the front and a 20, 11, 20 in the rear, that's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's what I'll be using so far. Not sure if I'll have to buy a long cage derailleur to get a 1132 on the back, maybe. But I'll keep you posted on how this goes on the six to 10% climbing on Maka Kilo drive that's the road I plan to do my Everesting on so there you have it absolute black chain rings beautiful chain rings I'm gonna mount them on my bike and you could probably check out the photos on my Instagram at the green not the green sorry typo at the vegan cyborg bye for now enjoy your coffee and jam that thumbs up button peace